All right, hi everybody. Thief River Falls Model Railroad Club here, um, Scarlowe Railway Edition. We successfully now got Rusty DCC, and it also has a DZ126T decoder in it. So did Scarlowe, like the episode from before. Now, Rusty is a very small Plymouth, I'd say, and it's, well, it's tougher than Scarlowe, I thought. You don't have the side rods and all the steam engine stuff, but it's tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So, after that said, it's worth the, I mean, if you have time to spend on it, it's worth it in my opinion. But here's address five, Rusty's number five. And then we'll punch in Scarloi, number one. We'll punch back in Rusty. So the question is, why am I DCC in these? Well, I want to be able to have a Scarloe Railway layout modular type and not have to worry about block systems dc throwing switches all that stuff we can literally run with the digitrack system we can piggyback with it off of our off of our big ho scale club layout we can still do the infrared um it's dcc just hon 30 and scale track that doesn't make a difference we got one amp decoders in here. Um, we can now run. There's Reneus and Peter Sam yet. Bachman hasn't come out with any other ones yet. I mean, we can make some or whatever. But there's four so far that I plan on DCCing. So what's nice about DCC instead of the DC, we only need one controller. We can go infrared. Four people can have each a controller. And what I like about DCC and the Digitrack system is just like on the map with the loop system. Let me get it over here. There's a Y and the loop, and then there's the loop uh, Crovin's Gate that's not shown on the map. But what's nice about the DCC is I can now put reversers on here. And we don't need a monkey with turning on and turning off stuff for block systems, switches, start, stop, cut the power, reverse it, forget about it, someone shorts it out. We'll be able to use um, DCC reversers. And we used them on our HO scale club layout and they worked really great. And it's just going to be nice. You can be on the same track and you now have control over your train not the track so that's the plan i don't know when i'm going to start building modules yet for it but I definitely this winter plan on getting the other two dc seed and possibly for sure maybe build this y to see how that's going to work and then the town of scarloe those are going to be the modules we're going to start start with. So, But other than that, this is kind of me and Ryan's idea. Um, I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be a learning curve. I've never really done N-scale stuff. I mean, it is still 187th HO scale. Uh, HON30, which is 30-inch narrow gauge for HO scale. So it's going to be a fun journey and 
fun process for sure, but we'll keep you guys posted with the other DC scene we do or the first or second module we build. Thanks for watching.